Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Story of Sam, back with another NBA 2K21 news video. And in today's video, I'm going over tons and tons of tweets from the last couple days about the NBA 2K21 news for current gen. All of this news is confirmed by Mike Wang and all the other NBA 2K21 developers, so you know all this information is 100% legit. If you are been new to my channel, though, we are going to get straight into it, but first, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. We're trying to do it 2,000 subscribers as soon as we possibly can. And also, guys, hit that like button. Let's go for 25 likes on today's NBA 2K21 news video. Without further ado, let's get straight into the news. Okay, so this first tweet says, Gameplay news, pro stick shooting upgrade, 40 new jump shot landings, overhaul dribble moves, 50 new size ups, no more quick draw badge, and 6 8 point guards in my career. Some of the most important builds here are the no more quick draw badge, so quick draw is completely done as a badge, which I honestly think is a very good idea just because, like, on day one of MA2K20, nobody could shoot at all. But on day one of 2K21, hopefully shooting will be a lot easier because no quick draw will be required to shoot the ball. Another very important piece is the 6 foot 8 point guards in my career, and those can be played in at the park as well. So basically, if you make a position that's a point guard, you can now make him 6 foot 8. As in 2K20, you could only make him 6 foot 6. Obviously, there's 40 new jump shot landings the pro stick shooting upgrade you're gonna get a big boost when shooting with the pro stick instead of square and obviously a lot of dribbling information 50 new size ups that's very good for other people that like to dribble out there i've heard a lot of information that nba 2k21 is gonna have a much more smooth dribbling system which is obviously a huge plus but there are a lot of tweets to go over so i'm gonna go fairly quickly over each tweet moving on to the next tweet this guy asked mike wing on twitter is pogo stick removed and mike wing responds pogo stick is still in the game but it was nerfed and i think this is a very very big w from 2k here just because Pogo Stick was one of the least skilled badges, you could literally just spam Triangle and get a contest almost every single time. So it's nice to know that they are working on some of the major problems that we all know are very, very important. And Pogo Stick being nerfed is definitely a very, very important badge week. The next tweet from Mike Wing says the jump shot creator isn't gated behind the workout anymore. It's available off rip. And I'm very excited about this because we heard there's going to be no quick draw in NBA 2K21. So if you want to make a new build in NBA 2K21, you automatically have the jump shot creator and everything you need to put your favorite jump shot on. You don't have to earn badges to get quick draw you don't have to earn a jump shot creator it just comes straight on every player nobody wants to play my career every single time to get the jump shot creator on a brand new player so i think it's a great idea just giving it to everyone off rip very very good idea next like our fan on twitter said to further clarify i don't think even the 53 point lock should be near consistent shooters and mike wing responded saying the goal is to have at least high 70s to be a decent threat from the three point line if people are greening threes at a 51 three pointer i'll make a hot fix which is very very good news almost every year NBA 2K talks about how they're going to only make shooting builds be able to shoot, and then the game launches, people find the best jump shots, and then people are greeting with any three-point rating. So hopefully this tweet stays true, but right now it looks like very, very good news for shooting in NBA 2K21. This next tweet says, is Intimidator broken still where the center is nowhere near me, but still can make you miss open layups? And then Mike Wing responded, no, that's been toned back a lot. That just tells me that they are focusing a lot on the defensive badges, making sure they're reworked, and making sure defense isn't overpowered at all. Because Intimidator in NBA 2K20 was way too strong. Strong. You could literally miss wide open layups if someone's even near you. You can miss wide open dunks. It wasn't good at all, so definitely an intimidator nerf is what we need. This next tweet says, Will Quick Draw still be out of next gen 2? And Mike Wing responds, Yes, it's gone forever. So I'm guessing Mike Wang and the team decided to try out Quick Draw in MA2K20. They didn't like the response, and they're taking it out forever, basically. So I don't expect MA2K to ever have Quick Draw in a game again. I don't really care either way. I didn't mind Quick Draw, but obviously it's annoying to have to grind the first couple shooting badges on a brand new build. This next tweet's basically saying, Is there going to be a difference from having a 99 three pointer to a 73 pointer? Like, will I be able to feel the difference in the green window? And Mike Wang responds, Yeah, there's a pretty significant difference take your average three-point field goal percentage as a 70 and add about 20 percent so basically mike wing is saying that three-point rating is going to matter a lot this year hopefully so if you're like a pure sharp compared to like a two-way sharp you're going to be able to feel the difference on the court moving on to the next tweet this guy says how much of a boost is going to be taken away if we revert back to shooting with square in nba 2k21 instead of using the pro stick and mike wing said you can still use the button and be very very successful the pro stick just has a wider skill gap so shooting with the pro stick in nba 2k21 is going to give you a boost just like no meter did in NBA 2K20 and guys no shot meter is also returning to NBA 2K21. I hope NBA 2K21 doesn't force people to shoot with the stick because honestly guys I do not want to shoot with the stick at all. I want to shoot with square and I don't want it to turn into a no meter thing in NBA 2K20 where you basically have to use no meter to shoot consistently. This next tweet says will there be a way to turn off the right stick shoot option so that way there isn't any accidental step back shots and Mike Wang replies yeah you can turn right stick shooting off completely if you want which is very very good for a lot of slashing builds if they want to go in for a dunk they don't accidentally pull up for a mid-range shot 
Moving on to the next tweet, this guy says, How about dunking with pro stick? How will that work? And Mike Rowling replies, Dunking is the same as NBA 2K20. So that's good news because I think dunking in NBA 2K20 was pretty easy to control, pretty easy to understand. I obviously like right-handed dunks, left-handed dunk, two-handed dunk, flashy dunk. I think that is a very, very good system, and I'm glad it is returning to NBA 2K21. Anyways, guys, that was all the tweets. I hope you guys learned a thing or two about NBA 2K21 and what's going to be expected when the game drops. If you guys are still watching, I have a minor announcement to make. So basically for NBA 2K21, starting on August 24th when the demo releases, I'm no longer going to be following my Wednesday, Saturday upload schedule. I'm just going to be trying to put out as many videos as I possibly can. So I'm not going to have an upload schedule for the foreseeable future. I changed this just because I didn't want to feel like I had to upload on Wednesdays and Saturdays. I'm just going to upload whenever I can. But I will say though, guys, if I do decide to upload on a weekday, Monday through Friday, the video will be coming out at 5 p.m. Eastern time. And if I do upload on a Saturday or a Sunday, all those videos are going to come out at 2 p.m. Eastern time. So all weekday uploads at 5 p.m. and all weekend uploads at 2 p.m. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. We are trying to hit 2,000 subscribers as I talked about earlier. Hit that sub button if you're new. I'm going to be posting a ton of ma 2 k 21 build videos, just tutorials, and also a lot more gameplay videos this year as well. And don't forget to drop a like as well. Let's go for 25 likes on today's NBA 2K21 news video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, I'm going to leave two of my previous NBA 2K videos at the end screen, so you can check those out right when this video is finished. Have a great rest of your day, guys. It's been Story of Sam, and I'm out. Peace.